Oh, folks, we're on the same day. There's this, this meeting going on, and one of the top scientists uh, was was talking about aliens, see? And they're having this meeting, and of course, at the end of the article, I put a link to it, and it says, "Oh, there's an element of humour in this, but." People won't be laughing if it happens. And the book is, they've lowered their odds of aliens coming. And there was a really good comment at the end somebody had put, well, if the aliens come and they, they they go off course a bit and they land in France, the French will feed them till they can get across the border. And, and of course, if they come to England, that's a good chance them coming to England because, of course, they get free housing and they get all the benefits and health care and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so, I think there was a subtle hint there. I don't know about something or other, underlying kind of news item there. But this was from somebody who left a comment, and there was another classic comment there. I can't remember what that one was. But it's a similar sort of, uh, yeah. And that was a, these, this, because they seem to be, and, and there was a, a news item where some ex Ministry of Defence bod was on some American news programme talking about all these UFOs that they actually were chasing after and having dogfights with and all that. And, and of course, he's another authority figure, isn't he? And so you got it's like hold on a minute. I mean, that these these aliens seem to come along at convenient time, don't they? I mean, wonder why the aliens don't come along when we're on an economic boom, when they only come along when it's an economic crisis. Bit bit like them terrorists, they they seem to come along at convenient moments, don't they? Huh? Um, makes you think. <laughs> Uh, but of course, top scientists and they're meeting at the Royal Society in London. Oh, so that kind of gives gravitas to it, doesn't it? <laughs> so <Sort of> something else. <laughs> but anyway, some sort of weight to it because I mean these are very clever people and they're having this meeting. But it's it's, it's interesting, that, isn't it? You get a news item in America which a lot of people won't necessarily know about. At the same time, as 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 there's this meeting going on in London, so of course people will be going, hold on, oh, oh, wonder if there's something in this, eh? Because the bookies, I mean, the bookies have lowered the chances from one in five thousand to one in one thousand. Oh, oh, and Lord so and so says, oh, well. Must be credible. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, of course, I expect we need a global government to deal with that, won't we? Yeah. And I expect we'll have the Alien Benevolent Fund. They won't have a carbon tax. They have a, they'll have um, an alien... Um, oh, what do they have? They, they'll have? They'll have to start the Federation up, won't they? Where do I get that idea from? The United Federation of Planets. I wonder where... It's like somewhat... I think that's been done... Uh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, there we are. Yeah. And they're conjecturing what these aliens might look like. I suppose that's a preconditioned people to think, well, this scientist said an alien would probably look similar to it. And then, what, what's the betting that an alien does come along? And they'll go... That's what they was predicting. Yeah. Makes you think. <laughs> I'm not saying there aren't aliens. But it seems a bit interesting that all this talk about aliens seems to come along during a financial crisis, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, we're out of recession now. I keep forgetting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Must be all them jobs I'm not getting offered. <laughs> all that work that there isn't oh yeah it's just double speak <laughs> but oh, apparently your recession's pretty much over now 
might notice it, but <laughs> but it's a bit like that snow <laughs> that we didn't have during global warming. <laughs> yeah. Wonder if these scientists are are, are, are as um, credible <laughs> as the ones that were telling us all about the uh, rising temperatures. <coughs> 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 Here come the men in the white coats. You're supposed to believe them. You're sp not supposed to question. Didn't you go to school and understand if somebody stands up in front of a mass of people and they say something and they're hedimicated, you're supposed to believe what they say without question. That is why you went to school, to learn that there are teachers and they teachers are more intellectual than you are peasant <laughs> the old government indoctrination camps <laughs> don't get me on that one <laughs> anyway watch out for aliens yep yeah. yeah, they'll be having alert levels for potential aliens now won't they there'll be UFO sightings there'll be a special UFO sightings thing I'm not saying there ain't unidentified flying objects either so, for all those people that say, but Dave, there's all those UFOs, and but Dave, there could potentially be aliens out there. And I'd say, yeah, and SETI, the, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has been looking for how long, and analysing how much data. Right, okay. <laughs> and yes, there are things that fly around that we don't know what they are because we can't explain everything does that mean it's aliens I don't know but it all I'm saying is that it's very convenient that these aliens are on the everyone's you know, in the newspapers the Pope's talking about them and on, on the television in the news thingy what this American thingy I can't remember I'll, I'll find it I'll put a link to it but there was I think it was Cryptocracy 101 he had a thing on there with this news thing it was on I don't know if it, it was on one of the American news channel thingy dude I watch it so yeah it's interesting that isn't it how do, how do all this come along all the, conveniently during a oh distract you from them what them banksters and the government's up to and all them rules and regulations what they're taking away all your freedoms with but don't worry about that. It could be aliens. <laughs> it's like a magic show, really, isn't it? Let's distract them. Yeah. Anyway. Cheers for now. <laughs>